Hello, it's Jim from Jetsonax.com. Today we are going to upgrade Python on our Jetson Nano. I'm going to share with you how to install Python 3.8 and Python 3.11. Recently, I've been working on a project for the NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit, which requires Python 3.11. As you know, the Jetson Nano runs Jetpack 4 on Jetson Linux 32.7.3. Jetson Linux is an Ubuntu 18.04 variant. Ubuntu 18 ships with a default Python 3.6 installation. It is easy to upgrade Python a couple of point releases. We can search the repositories. The Ubuntu repositories contain Python versions 3.6, 3.7, and 3.8. For example, let's install Python 3.8. Let's install the virtual environment module for 3.8. While we are here, let's install bin utils. Each Python version seems to have its own special little installation sequence. When we run Python 3, we see that Python 3.6.9 is brought up. When we look at the binaries directory and slash user, we can see that Python 3.8 has been installed. We can also see that Python 3 is a symbolic pointer to Python 3.6. Now, some people might change the symbolic link to point to Python 3.8 in this situation. There are tools to help with this, such as Update Alternatives, which allows you to change symbolic links to a set of different programs. You can simply type Python 3.8 to bring up the interpreter. You can also set up an alias in the .bashrc file to point at the Python version you are using. However, none of these are very robust. It's better to either use Docker or a Python virtual environment to help better separate different Python installs. We'll use a virtual environment a little bit later in this video. But what if you want more recent Pythons? Well, you need to roll up your sleeves and compile it from source. Thankfully, most of the heavy lifting has been taken care of. Let's walk through how to build and install Python 3.11. On the Jetson Hex Nano account on GitHub, there is a repository named Build Python. This includes a convenient script to build Python 3. This script will build one of the Pythons that is located in the Jetson Hacks Nano GitHub account. 3.9, 3.11, and 3.10. Let's take a look at Python 3.11. This is forked from the Dead Snakes account. Let's take a look at the Bionic branch. We can see that this is all the source code for Python 3.11.3. Dead Snakes adds modifications based on the Debian upstream packages with some modifications to make them more usable as non-default Pythons and on Ubuntu. Let's clone the built Python repository and then switch over into that repository's directory. Now we are ready to build. The default build is for Python 3.11. Password. And we are off to the races. Build time's long, about two hours. There's a little error here at the end, but it doesn't affect our build. Let's go look for the Debian install files. They should be in Python builds, and then Python 3.11, and there they are. Now we are going to create a local apt repository and place our Debian files in there. Scroll down the page a little bit. It goes and creates the repository and then updates the apt list. Let's go look for our new friends. Let me know in the comments what you think of this approach. And like magic, there they are. Now we can install Python 3.11. It's a little bit easier than Python 3.8. Full installation gathers up some of the strays for us. Let's see if it works. Oh, ye of little faith. Of course it works. Let's install pip for 3.11. We built pip during the 3.11 build.
We will use a virtual environment on our project. Let's create a project directory. Switch over to that directory. And create a virtual environment there. Here we are using a hidden directory called venv. Let's take a look at our hidden directory. Now we activate the new environment. This is all standard Python stuff. I'm not going to cover it very deeply. Let's install NumPy. We'll upgrade pip while we are at it. Let's run Python. 3.11.3 comes up. We'll import NumPy, put out the version of NumPy. Oops, try it again. 1.24.3. Now we go back to our regular prompt. Oh my, we have to deactivate after we get out of Python. I always forget that. Now, if we run Python 3.6, let's import NumPy. What's the version number? 1.13.3. So it's different than Python 3.11, which was 1.24.3. Installation complete. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.